In this video, I'll show you the drawing routine I used that changed my life. So dramatic, I know. But I'm on to something, alright? Let me cook. <laughs> so let's go back by around 4 or 5 months to around about May of this year. And at this point, I was feeling pretty down about my art. You ever just make a drawing, right? You know, you make a drawing, you finish it, you look at it, and you're just left absolutely disgusted by the atrocity that you just created. And that was me, literally all the time. And I knew deep down that I could be better than this, that I had the potential to make a drawing and be able to like it two days later still but i just felt like i was so far away from achieving that and, and getting, getting good, good at art, art has all the benefits, benefits and everything, and everything. But, but the main benefit of actually getting good at art in my opinion is the future because in some capacity doesn't every artist want to be able to make a living from their art somehow because like, imagine this being right, your life right so you know you just sat there you know you're sleeping you're dreaming you know it's all sunshine and rainbows and then the alarm goes off it's 6 a.m you're off the back of like five hours of sleep and you need to get up and begin your one hour commute to work in the rain you get to work you get shot on by your stinky boss for eight hours you get back home at the end of the day after giving your entire day away but congratulations you made like a hundred something dollars or whatever and imagine that every day for the next 45 years of your working career Ugh. all right that might be a bit of an extreme example but you know what i mean right i'm not trying to be anywhere near that so the dream is to be able to make a living from your passion and for me it's art and in order to do that i actually have to get good but i don't have like an art school or mentor or anything so i'm kind of on my own but it's, it's cool right i'm gonna i'm gonna do it so i need to practice right duh but how so like most beginner artists i thought to myself i'm just gonna draw a lot <laughs> and that's what i did i hopped on pinterest to find references and i just began practicing figure drawing and whenever i had time for it and whenever i was in the mood for it i just draw and honestly bro this kind of worked i began to see some improvements in my understanding of anatomy and how the body moved and all that fun stuff and i did this for a solid few weeks but i got to a point where i felt like i was missing something Thing. And I was right. I don't know why it took me so long to realize it, but I finally understood it, right? The secret sauce to improving at art. You just need like an actual direction, an actual plan. Basically, bro, what I'm trying to say is you need to go on your own training arc which sounds weird i know like this is an anime bro what do you mean training arc but like i said just listen to me let me cook right so there's a lot of obstacles you're gonna face if you decide to go on your own training arc right not just anybody can successfully conduct their own training arc because it's not as simple as just draw a lot right so i'm gonna show you how i did mine and you can kind of use that if you want to kind of structure your own training arc so for me i got off to a bit of a rocky start i knew that i needed to focus on the fundamentals but there's way too many of them to focus on each of them simultaneously so i broke it down and i had myself a bit of a daily structure right which obviously looking back is a horrendous routine but it's a start right this is something so we're still in around about june at this point and you know all is well and good i should be able to make some progress with this routine right <laughs> wrong See, I'd missed an absolutely critical element that would basically decide whether or not my art would ever see any substantial progress. And I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. The problem that I had was my brain, which I know sounds a bit strange to say, but let me explain. So after I made this routine feeling all cool that I, oh, look at me, I'm finally gonna be a good artist. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Over the next couple of weeks, I stuck to my routine maybe only a handful of days, and something was always coming up, and for one reason or the other, I wasn't sticking to my routine now things happen sometimes life happens that's cool but jesus bro surely i can be doing better than this right and i realized if i was gonna do this because let's be real right this is like our future on the line this is my future on the line every time i sit down to draw i'm getting a teeny tiny bit closer to the the dream life essentially the life that every artist will so strongly desire so because of this i ended up making some changes i ended up kind of restructuring my entire lifestyle to make it more conducive to drawing time because this is my training arc right might as well make it as hardcore as possible first thing i did was i drastically reduced my social media usage because it's just way too distracting and it's this whole thing with dopamine levels and you know, have stimulating content, spiking your dopamine levels, which ends up decreasing your dopamine levels in the long run, which ends up basically decreasing your motivation to do work. Which is wild, because I need that motivation to work on my art and effectively build my future. So when you weigh the two options, it's like not even a contest, right? Another thing is I ended up trimming down my drawing schedule because I was just focusing on way too many things at once, right? So I decided to focus on just anatomy and shading. Two things, let's go. This is my new routine, which obviously, looking back, is not the best routine. What I'm gonna show you later in the video is 
10 times better than this but it's fine this is progress this is better right and i don't really know what happened but it's like right after this it's like something just clicked in my brain i think it just dawned on me like the realization of how massive this little training arc was and how significant it was for my future it's, it just it just kind of sank in because at this point it's like i just began i got to a point where i was literally drawing for six hours a day like every day of the week bro and sometimes even more than that which i know sounds wild but it felt incredible it didn't feel like i was punishing myself for anything and you don't have to draw eight hours a day bro like chill <laughs> because bro you know what the best feeling you know, imagine like going to bed and like just being just proud of the productive day you've had that's literally one of the best feelings ever genuinely and it's after a few weeks of being in this rut where i was not sticking to my routine i wasn't drawing when i said i was gonna draw yada 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 i was now finally beginning to gather momentum and of course my routine still needed trimming right i ended up trimming it down even more and more so i'd spend more time focusing on less things and of course, I'm still in my training arc right now. And considering I've only been intentionally doing this for the past couple months, it's so bad. Bro, imagine this, right? <laughs> imagine if you drew for like 10 hours a week, every week, for the next like five years. Like, bro, just imagine how good you just think about how good you'd become at the end of that. Like, Da Vinci, my guy, we're coming for you. <laughs> anyway, if you want me to go more in depth into the nitty gritty details of like structuring a training arc and everything, I can. But for right now, here's a quick overview you can screenshot, like as a guide or whatever, if you want to do this for yourself. And yeah, try it out, bro. You got this. I believe in you.